Hello friends and welcome to New to Yoga. It's Claudia here with you and I just wanted to start by setting the scene, giving you a few brief words before you start to move through these sessions and classes. All right. I am so, 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 so thrilled that you have decided to take this journey, this yoga journey, that you've decided to dip your toe into the water. And now, whatever has brought you here, whatever has got you here, I firstly wanted to dispel two myths about yoga. And the first one <laughs> is that only a certain type of person, certain types of people can can practice. And you know, this this thought form is really understandable given the way that we can see yoga perceived through social media, through popular culture. So understand that those thoughts are valid, but it is untrue. <laughs> The way that we might understand yoga in a westernized sense is that it's for people who look a certain way or who might have access to certain certain platforms and privileges, but that's certainly not true. Yoga is for everyone. Yoga is for you. Now, the second myth is that Yoga is only a physical practice or it's a, a fitness practice. And that's a lie. <laughs> it's much, 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 much more. What we call the physical practice, the, the asana, is just one limb of this beautiful tree of yoga that actually has eight limbs. And these other limbs include thinking about your relationship to the world around you, your relationship to yourself, your relationship to your breath, and coming into a deeper concentration and meditation, and ultimately seeking what we might call enlightenment. So yoga, these asanas, is just one of those limbs of this beautiful, rich tree that is yoga. <laughs> so as you move through these classes and this entire new to yoga series, I want you to, to really keep that with you in mind. You'll be moving your physical body. You will be getting cues that, that relate to the physical. But underneath that, you will also really be introduced to the, the fullness of what yoga has to offer, right? So it's not just the physical practice, but you will learn the language and you will be asked to think and reflect in ways that really speak to the entirety of yoga, the entire tree of yoga. And so with the physical practices, <laughs> I just want to say a, a few things that will keep you safe and keep you inspired. And the first thing is that you might be a little bit surprised <laughs> to hear how much alignment cues that are being used, uh, especially compared to other physical practices that you might that you might partake in. Um, and now the alignment cues are really important because part of the alignment is aligning the body, the mind, the breath, and the soul, the spirit as one. And it's this specific harmonization that, that brings us into the present. Now, the alignment cues will generally start from the ground up. So with that, we will really work into a, a very stable foundation. And then just a brief moment <laughs> to mention props. Um, props are not a crutch because you might not know what you're doing or you think that it means that you're not very good at something. 
yes, they can be there to give you more support, but props can also really help you deepen your practice and take your practice further. So please, if you've got them, use them, bring them on board. <laughs> and then <sighs> the breath, <laughs> the breath, the breath, the breath, the breath, the breath ignites you to your movement. The breath initiates the movement and the breath keeps you in the movement. So as we are moving through this journey, these sequences, we'll we, we will be linking breath to movement. So <laughs> you've probably heard these things before if you have been in practices or just along the way and these alignment cues might go along the lines of do what you can work at your own pace take your time so just know they all apply here this is your practice and if something does not feel right then you're going to back off and you come back to your foundation you come back to these fundamentals this series will, will lead you through the basics of what you need to know to have a safe practice. So please <laughs> move through these classes in order because they have been designed to, to build on the one that went before. And of course, you can, you can come back. Please share if you need to refer, refresh, remind, or just remember something. These are your fundamentals. Alrighty. <laughs> Again, my name is Claudia. I am so, 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 so excited for you. I'm so excited for you to explore a new way of being in your body a new way of stepping into mindfulness and balance. I can't wait to move with you on your mat very soon. Take care.